A2 from all 51 here. All right, um, been making a little progress on the F12. I know we got a less than a week <clears throat> to get it done. So, um, run into a yes, I know another issue. Um, apparently, when you switch kerosene model over to a gas setup, um, there's a gap in between. There's a gap there this obviously this intake here sits a little bit lower and i'll i'll put a picture on there for you and there's a spacer a factory spacer that's supposed to be there to take up that slack and i'll insert the picture uh, now and um so that there is you can see how much of a gap that was so I was like, great, you know, now I said, well, what, you know, so I got on the forum there and talked to a couple guys and they said, oh, well, you're going to have to make a spacer. I said, well, they offer, they, I think it was, I don't know if it was made out of that, the Bakelite material, but um, some people said, um, take, and I made this one, I made this um, intake or this gasket here, as you can see, it's cork and it's the thick cork and that's it you know stacking it up like that i said nah, nah, i don't know how good that'll work uh cause it to suck air or, or if you don't have it completely torqued and it'll be hard to torque five sixteenths worth of material to get that that spacing there so i took a um got some aluminum here and hand cut it out well cut it out with the angle grinder and then drilled the holes and i know you you see it's 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 off it looks off but actually that's the way the hole is um up here the hole lines up so um as you can see both the bolt holes line up and the, the intake hole here line up so i obviously it's it's off from here um so, but anyway, made this piece out of, uh, I'll give you a second to guess what it is. That, um, it was actually out of the top of an old piston from a Farmall H, uh, flat top piston. And the reason I got rid of that piston was it was, um, I kept, I was gonna make a pencil holder out of it, but it was scarred up pretty bad on the top and on the sides really bad. So I looked at it and it was about the 5 16th spacing that I needed. This is a, just, a, just a hair shorter or thinner than what I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these, put two of these gaskets on here and that will, time I torque it down, that will give me the correct um, gap. It'll be just a hair over 5 16th. But by the time I torque it down a little bit, and that gasket material sits then it'll be where it needs to be so uh shop fix so but anyway i got that fixed uh because they they no longer make that piece nobody makes that case h doesn't carry it um that spacer um you know here's my gasket or my template that i made off of it so use that to cut my gaskets i make my own gaskets most everything um this gasket here I didn't make the, for the valve cover because it's got some funny loops in it. And that takes a little bit more time to do. And uh, so some things, some gaskets are worth buying like carburetor gaskets and things like that. They're just, you're better off doing that because they, when they get thin like that, you, you there's no room for air. So um, brake drums are going on. And as soon as I get the carburetor on, run the plug wires. And they are the nice... And get them here to focus. Nice braided plug wires. And get this thing to focus. You can see there it's got the copper. I believe that's the copper center. So um I gotta run through that tube that's right there. Put the carburetor on, finish putting the covers on. And then I think to probably one of the next videos, if we don't run into another an issue, uh, should be 
um, pulling it off and starting it. So I was supposed to, I was going to do this Sunday, but my, of course, the old card in the GoPro there, uh, I'm going to have to upgrade on my cards here, probably GoPro too. Uh, it's just, I've had it a good while. So but anyway, we're getting there slowly but surely. And uh, this cover here, that's the, uh, see, that's the new air cooled uh, function that they had for uh, the F12 <clears throat> 1938. So, <laughs> but um, that one goes on that side. The other side goes on when it's laying on the pot. There it goes on the, the right, be the right side of the tractor. So, I got my exhaust pipe on, got my screw made up here. I got had to re thread it, got the gasket made for that. That's ready to pour antifreeze in. Like I say, the carburetor is ready to be installed. All the lines have been cleaned out. <clears throat> Governor. So, yeah, so back to that. But they obviously, this, this, the gasoline model intake and manifold here is just a little bit shorter than what the other one. So it sits lower. So I had to, I had to make the spacer. And there was a factory spacer for the gas models because of this governor here and everybody says well once you just shorten it and it was it there's it's it's all made there's no way to shorten that governor there that would be the ideal thing to do but there's no way to do it as you can see here see here so that that works that carburetor and as you can see if i move the throttle here that's what moves that so all right, but um, yeah, so we're tying up a lot of loose ends, and then we'll see what it'll do if it'll start. I hope it does. So anyway, hopefully we got to hurry up because we got less than a week to get to the plow day. So <laughs> all right, but thanks for watching, and um, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the F12 um, update series and stuff like that. That's just you know, and I I don't think I'm gonna leave the fins on here for the kerosene model I might just take those back off it probably needs all the cooling it can get um it'll be interesting to see how it does anyway thanks for watching and uh we'll talk to you later